Hey all, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. It's very appropriate that uh, right now in the UK temperatures are soaring because we're going to be heading to the Savannah Citadel today of Kingdom Hearts. No, it's not Sonic as much as I wish it was. It's the Pride Lands. I meant to just say Savannah, but because I'm so infatuated with that fucking blue blur, the, the words just tumbled out of my mouth in an order I didn't want. It really does seem like Sonic and Kingdom Hearts, uh, no doubt, if I were to Google it now, there'd be like 10,000 fanfics of these two properties meeting, as if some sort of curse was bespoken upon me, so I would not be shocked at all if those exist. But what if Sonic with Keyblade? What if that's nothing that I want in the <laughs> same sentence? Have you considered that? That's more than fair. Uh, I've noticed we've added a little something to uh, the HSC ship now. There's a lot more cannons. Uh, I'm seeing like a cockpit at the top there, a bridge if you will. So now I have to of course also look um, and see if uh, you know anybody's made any like penis shaped because I mean that's like the first thing that comes to mind when people have the ability to build stuff. We've seen it in Tears of the Kingdom. I need to make a dick out of it. So. <laughs> well it's either that or sending Koroks into orbit. You really gotta pick your poison here. I've been watching some of those for Tears of the Kingdom. They've been really inventive and kind of crazy uh, with some of the stuff they've made. I personally don't really spend a lot of time messing with that kind of stuff. Um, Minecraft is not a game I really play and build much in. I just do shit and I you know, move on for that. But again, the inventions have been really wacky in uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So you would say you're more of a survival type of guy than creative? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you know, like, I, w the last time I majorly played, uh, Minecraft, I kind of just set up a farm, and I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I'm done, I don't need to do anything else. I Look, I know there are, like, goals, you have to get to, like, the Ender Land, fight the Ender Dragon, shit like that, but I'm just sitting there chilling in my farm, I'm like, I'm, I'm happy, why, why else would I need to do anything else? Man, you would love the Wholesome Games Direct. It's, uh, it's a bevy of farming games, witch-related games, Sometimes there are furries, sometimes all three are combined. I have a, a very good time every year hanging out in the Gigaboots uh, chat community over on Twitch and just riffing what comes along. Although that being said, the Wholesome Games were pretty fun this year. You want to talk about shit? Boy, three letters. I'm not going to bring it up here just so I don't get heat. HFC? Yes. <laughs> Terrible. Every year they don't put on a show, and I'm like, where's the show, Goober? It's not here. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Um, You know, I mean, I'm not really super into, like, the whole, uh, like I said, I know I played a bit of survival Minecraft, but, you know, doing the whole, like, Animal Crossing thing, that's not my thing. I'm more of the, I, I like, you know, the role-playing games, you know, where I can go to, like, dungeons and shit like that. So I had the most fun in Minecraft, actually, when I installed, like, adventure mods, like, random dungeons and things like that. That was pretty fun. Um... You know, again, I sunk a ton of time into, like, Skyrim. And I have a few character concepts I'd like to revisit um, and actually do, like, the Dawn Card shit, which I should probably get back to, I'll be honest with you. Speaking of Animal Crossing, actually, and since we're, uh, you know, going through Disney-related stuff right now, I actually did my first solo stream in a while recently. A uh, almost eight-hour marathon of Disney Dreamlight Valley. I was watching a bit of that, actually, and I'm sitting there going, hmm, can I put up with Entom64 for eight hours? But, Oof. I mean, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Um, but I did watch up to the bit where you got to Wally, and, you know, you gave him something. So I'll probably check out a bit more of that, because, you know, again, sometimes you just need, like, a cozy kind of, you know, turn your brain off kind of game or stream or things like that, just to relax. And hey, even if you uh, don't really care about the content, it's a background noise, and in the end, isn't that what most <laughs> bottom of the barrel let's plays are? I mean, sometimes you need background noise. Like I know when I first moved in uh, to my new place, um, you know, I really needed some background noise just to kind of help settle. And uh, actually, you guys were doing like the Sonicathon streams at that point, um, so that really helped me kind of settle into where I'm at now. Oh, cool! Glad you enjoyed it, mate. Uh, we're doing HFC All Stars this year because obviously this is the 15th anniversary of the channel, and uh, that's going to be some of our favorite games or games that kind of like definers like we're not based on games or anything our personalities are not solely devoted to games but there are little aspects here and there that are very clearly 
influenced by games. So I like how even though this takes place after the events of the Wilderbeast Charge, we just reenacted the event anyway just to confirm that Simma does in fact have trauma from this event. Oh, this is so funny. Wait for the pull-in. I'm waiting for it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's what happens when you really don't animate a young anthropomorphic lion's face. Although, actually no, he's not anthropomorphic. He's just a basic lion with human facial features. You know, I'm actually really glad that even though this was PS2, they they actually animated pretty well for the time uh, the wildebeest scene, you know, with all the different models and things like that. Because I think if that was like, they didn't have a lot of those, it would look super bad. So I'm actually glad they went that way. Oh god. Oh man, now, <laughs> yeah, I'm remembering that, that super bad remake of, <laughs> you know, that GIF animation. Yeah, it's called The Lion King in 3D. Look it up. It is. I nearly died the first time I watched it. That was archival audio of Jonathan Taylor Thomas, I believe. Yeah, I was sitting there thinking, did they use archival audio of James Earl Jones in this game? And I don't think they did. No, they did. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm, again, it's been fucking years since I've played this game, alright? Yeah, I can't remember pretty much anything we did for the Pride Lands in uh, the original playthrough. Sex. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, Hakuna Hurtada, just do that off screen, okay? Please, this is a family channel. Oh, fool, well, I don't know about that. I'm on here, right? <laughs> the biggest lie ever told. Alright, let's go down the list here on IMDB. Okay, I saw David Gallagher, who obviously voices Riku, and for a split second, my brain read Riku as Rafiki, and I was like, hang on, something's wrong here. Hmm, I guess when he went to the world to disguise himself, he had to use, like, a baboon's disguise. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is, this is clearly identity theft. For Donald, this isn't too much of a stretch for his disguise. You know, Sora being a lion, you know, it's a nice design. Um, Goofy kind of books pretty quickly for a turtle, now that I think about it. Like, when you watch him following you, he's just zooming along with his shield. <laughs> yeah, he's like, spoiled. That is definitely not Whoopi Goldberg. I think it's Tress McNeil, actually. Yeah, no, it's Tress McNeil, and, um, well, Jim Cummings was Ed, anyway, so, you know, he's fucking here, of course. And, uh, that's Chief Baron, has the other dude, Banzai, I think. Uh, yes, and, um, Cheech Marin's also dead, too, I think. Is he? I, he might be. You may have to look that up. <laughs> okay, Cheech Marin. Da -da -da. No, he's still alive, but... Okay, yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Just let him roar. Eh, we better go see what he wants. Sounds like he's grumpy enough already. He's not voiced by the Jeremy Irons. That would make anyone be grumpy, I think. You know, it's pretty strange, actually, because, you know, in this game, know he's voiced by about, James Horn, of course, but, over. you know, Jim Cummings <sighs> took over, like, a bit of his bit of Be Prepared uh, for I'm Jeremy sure. Irons in the movie, so I'm kind of surprised I didn't just get Jim Cummings to voice Scar all the way through. I don't know. <laughs> his take on Jeremy Irons always sounds like his uh, Robotnik from Satyam to me. Jim Cummings is so prolific. You know, he kind of has... You, you can p recognize him, like, a mile away, so... Okay, uh, I think Donald is meant to be a hornbill here, which is uh, the same type of animal that um, uh, Zazu, that's his name, the same type of bird that Zazu is. And he's strangely missing. I, I guess it's because Donald took his role. Well, yeah, but um, Rowan Atkinson uh, was Zazu in the movie, and if he was still alive at that point, I don't know if he would have done Kingdom Hearts. Huh. Uh, why do you think everyone is dead all of a sudden, mate? Look, I know Rowan Atkinson is dead, alright? But I don't know when he died, but that was a long time ago, alright? Are you actually for, for serious here? He is alive and well. What's wrong with you today? Wait, is he? Yeah. What? I thought he passed away! <laughs> oh my god! Shit. 
Oh no. Oh, do, you, do you have like prophetic like visions of celebrities dying and it's just not true? Yes, Tom. I had a prophetic vision that everybody is going to eventually die. Come on. Oh, Christ. Well, that, this is actually uh, quite coincidental because um, in the latest Dreamlight Valley update, Simba and Nala were introduced to the game. So uh, I've got them living in a mini version of Pride Rock in uh, the valley. The strange thing is, they're like, wait, isn't Scar meant to be dead? Because Scar's obviously walking around. And it's implied that it's not the same Scar, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. <sighs> Let's blame the Heartless for this one too, huh? In Dreamlight Valley, by the way, um, it's basically taking characters after their like movie and whatnot. So, like, Stitch has his character development, uh, Mother Gothel is kind of, like, spurned, that ta right. uh, tangled, you fucking tangled, uh, Rapunzel isn't under her control anymore. Uh, for Simba and Nala here, it seems to come between the first and second movies, because while I haven't finished their uh, character storylines yet, uh, I didn't notice any mention of Kiara, their daughter, or Kovu. Uh, it's kind of weird that they bring in the villains after they, um... <clears throat> fucking died <laughs> so it's like oh god i'm not meant to exist we can't just go around knocking kings wasn't a big thrones. thing in like the rapunzel series that then one of the again, characters was like the actual daughter of mother gothel but mother gothel was a piece of shit human being so she has some issues sure. about that uh yeah that was cassandra i, I believe use, of course yeah there we go see Still, i know all this shit even like though i didn't the watch the series because that's so the wiki for you <laughs> yeah I, well, I mean it's interesting lore Oh, oh no, I mean, I hear a lot of good things about the Tangle series. That's pretty good. I felt the ending was a bit underwhelming, but, you know, I watch a lot of She's divisive shows, so I'm not going to start pointing fingers here. Lest the fingers... Oh god, they're coming! They're coming for me! They're pointing! <clears throat> Starring the forces of evil. <laughs> Ended on the same day as Game of Thrones. How about that? Oh yeah, I forgot both of them had terrible endings, didn't they? <laughs> oh, that's actually not the show I was referring to, but thank you for taking the heat off me. It's uh, spicy enough as it is right now. You know, it's still pretty fun actually playing as Lion Sora uh, in the Pride Lands because he has a lot of hype speed attacks. So it's actually, again, kind of, uh, it's fun. I had a good time, all right? Oh, wow. Are you sure? Do, do you need me to call a doctor? You may need to, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing people who uh, are alive, they're meant to be dead, and now I'm having fun. Clearly I'm ill. Spending all that time off of the internet will do that for you. Well, I I'm glad you're picking up hobbies outside the net, mate. God knows one of us has to. I'm still looking into, like, a good jujitsu place to kind of do, you know, what I want to do. So that's been pretty interesting, although it's been a crapshoot at best. Any new hobby will uh, take some fine tuning here and there, so uh, just keep at it and you'll find what works for you. Yeah, I'm definitely not giving up, but oh man. Oh, to be a lioness, sleeping all day. Oh wait, I pretty much do that anyway. Uh, well, at least you're not a lioness. That would be weird. That's him. Hmm, bit close. Uh, what? I'm glad that he doesn't respect personal space. That's good. Huh. Bunch of freaks? Yes, you'll do nicely for our army. Yeah, to be fair, uh, Donald pr looks pretty freakish, like he's a normal bird, but then he has his ugly cartoon head on top. It's a little weird. We have Robert Yulium as uh, Rafiki, who voiced him in the original film. Uh, you would know him as Alex's dad in the Half-Life franchise. Gotcha. Now, I... Look, no, I, I remember reading about this. I definitely know that he is dead. All yeah, right? yeah, he is sadly no longer with us. That's one out of three, mate. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> Starting this part today, I had no idea such antics were on the horizon. Thank you, because I'm going to be honest, Pride Lands may be the most boring world in the game. I don't know. Well, okay. I was going to say Atlantica, but I'm not bored, just terrified. Yeah, I'm not, like, disappointed. I'm just angry. So at this point, Scar has, like, basically taken over already. Simba's fucked off. And that's why the Pride Lands are the ghost lands, shall we say? Hey, a snack. Scar has to do something really bad to kind of get all the greenery to die, you know? 
Well, it's just him being there. It's the personification of his evil. That makes all the grass go away. Scar, the king. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I forgot about Pete Lion. <laughs> oh, I'm coming for you. Rah! Again, Jim Cummings voicing him and Scar would be actually kind of interesting in this scene. Yeah, let's watch this asshole do this. <laughs> my back. Yeah, my back. I know what that's what like. What are you doing here? Oh, the cute little kitty's worried about me. It's funny because Pete like is actually a cat, as we've previously discussed. I know people say he's a cat. I cannot see cat. I'm gonna be honest with you. Can you see dog though? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck no Pete's prey. is. Yeah, like, I know, again, he's a cat, but no animal prey? looks like that, okay? Uh, I was actually referring to the fact that uh, Jim Cummings voiced uh, Cat and Cat Dog. You think I've seen that show? <laughs> <laughs> the, the vile, the venom in that sentence. I'm sorry. I, I will not imply that you've watched shows that I wouldn't know you'd like or not in future. Didn't everybody hate Cat Dog anyway? Your general. I can't even say the fucking word. Your generalizations put my nuts in a bind. Do you realize that? Well, I do that with everybody, really. Guys, so weird going from 30 FPS P antics to uh, 60 FPS overworld hijinks. Well, I'm sorry. They didn't adjust the cutscenes for the power of the PS4. I guess not. Oh. Wait a minute, if you get to the end of the Pride Rock, can't you just, like, say, King me? <laughs> I don't know, actually. It's not like King of the Hill or anything. Uh, not like the show, especially. That would be an interesting Kingdom Hearts world. <laughs> Daggett Sore. Who would the boss fight be? I I'm curious. I'm morbidly curious. Uh, I'm trying to remember my time with King of the Hill. John Redcorn. Why John Redcorn? He's never been... I would I would do Dale, personally, because then he could do Pocket Sand. No, Dale should be a party member, optionally. Because I don't see Hank Hill fighting, I'll be honest with you. Why, is he just like an NPC in this fucking nightmare scenario we've envisioned? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I know he's always telling people he was going to kick their ass, but Dale, actually, I have seen fought on screen, so... Yeah, Boom Power could be, like, the major one. Oh, dang old Kurok. <laughs> Alright, this was a weird tangent. How are you? <laughs> hey, why the long face, Simba? Oh, that's yeah, not Nathan I'm Lane. Little. That's very clearly Quentin Flynn. Yeah. Well, I mean, Quentin Flynn played him in the about? TV show, so... Guess. He did uh, Timon and Pumba, funnily enough. Very mm. neat show. It wasn't my favorite of the Disney Afternoon stuff, but uh, I enjoyed it for what it was. Because they didn't really have a lot to work on. They kind of just sent them off to do some weird shit, you know? Would you look how he's grown? All right, we've got uh, Ernie Sabella reprising his role as Poomba. Uh, I think this might be Cam Clark. Yeah, that's Liquid Snake, by the way. Yeah, yeah, no, that's Cam Clark as a uh, adult Simba. Now we say sex. He's also the singing voice for Lion King too. Huh, that's interesting. That's Liquid Snake, by the way. Whoa. Right, now watch a pro. I've been a lion for at least all my life. <laughs> I have lots of experience. Wow. Cats are pretty amazing in that they can jump and We're leap all these distances, and yet sometimes they do the stupidest fucking shit, you know? I'm aware, my new kitten has started climbing what? everywhere. Oh, you have a new kitten? Yeah, his name is Jiro. You can go on my uh, Twitter and see lots of lots it. of pictures of him. Sir. You know, my mom wanted to give me a kitten because they have like kittens outside now. Uh, it's like a wild cat, but I mean, I'm not in a place where I can really take care of a kitten. They need a lot of attention. I can't spare that right now, unfortunately, with like my, you know, I work obviously all week, so it's a little tough. <laughs> I'm 35 and I have things to do. <laughs> yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's true. It's true. Just edited and uploaded those episodes, so uh, the running joke that will stay firmly in those episodes is uh, fresh in my mind. Oh, clearly you don't know me well enough. You know I'll drag it wherever. Oh, well, I'll drag you down with me. I'll ruin you like I ruined this channel. 
And myself. There we go. Well, we're uh, at the end of the part already. Time flies when you're uh, clearly not paying attention to the narrative of a world you covered 15 years ago. I, I don't think there's any spoilers for the Lion King in here, guys. Well, okay, well, except the boss fight. That one is new. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty strange overall. Sex. Sex. It's just across the horizon. Sex. There's no sex here. Pretty sure Rafiki did not have this, like, <laughs> conservatory uh, adjacent cave in the movie. He was, like, out in the savannah in the tree of his own. PS2 modeling and all. Just more convenient to have him close to the action. God, that's Goofy's brother. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you can just do a bong like everybody else, all right, man? Now this is how he gets off. <laughs> we miss you, Robert. It is time for the next part, KXG Follow Mix.